we are the people, Rangers fan speaks, sad news this afternoon, just look at this, urgent news that has just been confirmed, unfortunately, no one saw this coming, hot news here at Ibrox caught everyone by surprise, I just received this sad news that is a bombshell for Philippe Clement, I will clarify everything for you now, first if you're a true teddy bear, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any Rangers news. Now without further ado let's get to the point. Rangers has been dealt another injury blow after it was confirmed that Ross McCausland was never fit to play following the Motherwell Challenge and continues to struggle with the issue to this day, having to withdraw from the Northern Ireland international camp. As we suggested in recent weeks, we completely disagree with Philippe Clement risking Oscar Cortez from Colombia on the terrible Killy pitch, especially when he left Kimar Roof out of that specific pitch for injury reasons. That backfired on the coach, but there is a caveat, more or less. We'll get to that. We were also surprised to see him fielding Dujan Sterling against Hibernian and that also backfired on us, with the player still struggling with a thigh problem and having missed all football since then, he was already injured and it only got worse. And we can't understand why Ross McCausland wasn't even on the bench against Benfica when he clearly wasn't fit for it, Clement explained his reasons. He's now another one out of action. In summary, Clement has been a bit unlucky with injured players. He talked about how he follows the medical team's forecast on how many minutes a specific player can play and joked saying that makes him more of a mathematician. Dugin is really a doubt for Sunday, we'll see. We won't risk him to have him out for longer. Ross McCausland was still struggling but was on the bench because you have to think that this game could be for 120 minutes. Scott, right, is coming back from injury and played a lot. Rabbi, Matondo, is also coming back from injury and had to play minutes. I had to keep a third player there too if they couldn't do 120 minutes together. That way, I'm more of a mathematician at the moment than a coach. That's why Ross was on the bench, but he wasn't fully fit so we'll see if he's fit for Sunday. We wonder what medical advice Clement is getting when every player they say can do a minute here and there clearly isn't working out and the player is being kept out for longer almost every time. The problem Clement faces is that he needs to win games, and he's still been gambling on the risk-reward strategy with slightly injured players, where he'll choose a player for just 10 minutes even if there's a big risk of losing him for longer. And yet, Clement also confirmed that he's backtracking on this. He admitted that Sterling will be kept out of football until he's 100% fit and is unlikely to suffer a long-term injury. And now we can see McCausland following the same path, playing with injured players is not wise but it seems Clement has been following the medical team. It seems that will now be reversed and he'll simply keep players out of action until they are 100% fit, or in other words, physically fit. That they may only last 20 minutes until they are exhausted is fine, we prefer that to 30 minutes and then injured again. So, Rangers fan, what do you think about this situation? Comment below and until the next news.